Chapter 15 The land assigned to the families of the tribe of Judah reached southward to the border of Edom, with the wilderness of Zin being its southernmost point. The southern boundary began at the south bay of the Dead Sea, ran south of Scorpion Pass into the wilderness of Zin, and went south of Kedesh Barnea to Hezron. Then it went up to Adar, where it turned toward Karka. From there it passed to Asmon until it finally reached the brook of Egypt, which it followed to the Mediterranean Sea. This was their southern boundary. The eastern boundary extended along the Dead Sea to the mouth of the Jordan River. The northern boundary began at the bay where the Jordan River empties into the Dead Sea, crossed to Beth Hogla, then proceeded north to Beth Araba to the stone of Bochan. Bochan was Reuben's son. From that point it went through the valley of Echor to Debir, turning north toward Gilgal, which is across from the slopes of Adumim on the south side of the valley. From there the border extended to the springs at En Shemesh and on to En Rogel. The boundary then passed through the valley of the son of Hinnom, along the southern slopes of the Jebusites where the city of Jerusalem is located. Then it went west to the top of the mountain above the valley of Hinnom, and on up to the northern end of the valley of Rephaim. From there the border extended from the top of the mountain to the spring at the waters at Nephtor, and from there to the towns on Mount Ephron. Then it turned toward Beala, that is kiriath Jirim. The border circled west of Beala to Mount Seir, passed along to the town of Kesalon on the northern slope of Mount Jirim, and went down to Beth Shemesh and on to Timnah. The boundary line then proceeded to the slope of the hill north of Ikran, where it turned toward Shikiran and Mount Bela. It passed Jabnil and ended at the Mediterranean Sea. The western boundary was the shoreline of the Mediterranean Sea. These are the boundaries for the families of the tribe of Judah. The Lord instructed Joshua to assign some of Judah's territory to Caleb son of Jephunneh. So Caleb was given the city of Arba, that is Hebron, which had been named after Anak's ancestor. Caleb drove out the three Anakites, Sheshai, Ahiman, and Talmai, descendants of Anak. Then he fought against the people living in the town of Debir, formerly called Kiriah Sefer. Caleb said, I will give my daughter Aksa in marriage to the one who attacks and captures Kiriath Sefer. Othniel, the son of Caleb's brother Kenaz, was the one who conquered it, so Aksa became Othniel's wife. When Aksa married Othniel, she urged him to ask her father for an additional field. As she got down off her donkey, Caleb asked her, What is it? What can I do for you? She said, Give me a further blessing. You have been kind enough to give me land in the Negev. Please give me springs as well. So Caleb gave her the upper and lower springs. This was the inheritance given to the families of the tribe of Judah. The towns of Judah situated along the borders of Edom in the extreme south are Kabziel, Eder, Jagur, Kaina, Daimona, Hadeda, Kidesh, Hazor, Aithnan, Zif, Tilem, Bieloth, Hazor Hadata, Kiryoth Hezron, that is Hazor, Amam, Shima, Molada, Hazar Gada, Heshmon, Beth Pilet, Hezar Shual, Beersheba, Biziothiah, Baela, Aim, Izem, El Tolad, Kizil, Horma, Ziklag, Madmana, Sansara, Leboth, Shilhim, Ain, and Rimon. In all, there were twenty nine of these towns with their surrounding villages. The following towns situated in the western foothills were also given to Judah, Eshtaol, Zora, Ashna, Zenoa, Enganim, Tapua, Inam, Jarmuth, Adulam, Soko, Azika, Sha'araim, Adithaim, Gidera, and Giderothaim. In all, there were fourteen towns with their surrounding villages. Also included were Zinan, Hadasha, Migdalgad, Dalian, Mispi, Joktil, Lakish, Boskath, Iglon, Kabon, Lamam, Kitlish, Gideroth, Beth Dagon, Naama, and Makeda, sixteen towns with their surrounding villages. Besides these, there were Libna, Ether, Eshan, Aifta, Ishna, Nizib, Kaila, Akzib, and Maresha, nine towns with their surrounding villages. 
The territory of the tribe of Judah also included all the towns and villages of Ekron. From Ekron, the boundary extended west and included the towns near Ashdod with their surrounding villages. It also included Ashdod with its towns and villages, and Geza with its towns and villages, as far as the brook of Egypt and along the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. Judah also received the following towns in the hill country, Shemir, Jatir, Soko, Dana, Kiriath Sana, that is Debir, Enab, Eshtemo, Anim, Goshen, Polan, and Kailo, eleven towns with their surrounding villages. Also included were the towns of Arab, Duma, Ishan, Janim, Beth Tapua, Afika, Humta, Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, and Zayor, nine towns with their surrounding villages. Besides these, there were Meon, Carmel, Zif, Jota, Jezreel, Jokdiam, Zenoa, Cain, Gibeah, and Timna, ten towns with their surrounding villages. In addition, there were Halhul, Bethzur, Gidor, Maorath, Bethanoth, and El Tekan, six towns with their surrounding villages. There were also Kiriath Baal, that is Kiriath Jirim, and Reba, two towns with their surrounding villages. In the wilderness, there were the towns of Beth Araba, Medin, Sekaka, Nibshan, the city of Salt, and En Gedi, six towns with their surrounding villages. But the tribe of Judah could not drive out the Jebusites who lived in the city of Jerusalem, so the Jebusites live there among the people of Judah to this day.